This ring announcer, Ed Darien, let's go to him now for the introductions. Live, live from the magnificent Paramount, here at Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, as Madison Square Garden Boxing proudly presents Fight Night and is approved by the New York State Athletic Commission, the Honorable Randy Gordon Chairman. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled eight-round junior featherweight bout, referee Luis Rivera. And now, my good friends, introducing the principals. First, in the blue corner, wearing these solid white trunks. He tipped in at an even 122 pounds. Professionally, he has nine wins, one loss, with eight knockouts from Detroit, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the Big Apple, Theotris Chambers. Chambers and his opponent in the red corner wearing the black trunks with the red trim. He weighed in at an even 123 pounds. Now this young man professionally has 16 wins and one loss with seven knockouts. From Corona, New York, boxing fans here is Jose Garcia. Garcia. Jose Garcia, 26 years old, stands five, six and a half and is ranked number eight in the world by the WBC. And across the way, there is Michael Dynamite Oaks, the former WBA heavyweight champion of the world, who's now a manager. He's still alive in the boxing world, but he's now managing Theotris Chambers, who's in the white trunks. Michael Oaks is now wearing two hats, and uh, we'll see how well he does here. Or his fighter does here. Usually that one hat that he wears is pretty good. <laughs> Theotris Chambers, actually Theotris Chambers the third. Second fight for both men in 1992, each man having won earlier this year. You look at uh, Chambers, he's very uh, economical with his punches. I mean, just not rushing himself. Very, very poor is young man. He's picking his shot with his left jab. Trying to find the target for his right hand. Three-time PAL national champion in the amateurs, the Otris Chambers, had over 100 amateur fights. Pretty Got quick hands. Very good hands, and Garcia on the on the defense pretty much, and retreating, but yet trying to get the left hook in. If you watch the way Garcia throws his punches, he's backing away, but yet he's still on balance. He's able to execute that left hook. Jose Garcia with a two and a half inch height advantage, and a bit of a reach advantage. But thus far, it hasn't shown. Chambers trying to cut the ring off. He's done a pretty good job. Drilling that right hand to the body every chance he gets. Seems very confident, don't you think? He's a very, very confident young man. And uh, this is a very good fight for him because Garcia proves to be a pretty good uh, opposition. Now looks like Garcia wants to get into uh, the action a little bit. He's been pretty passive. With Garcia, it was pretty much a feeling out process. He's trying to see what Chambers brings to the table. No big punches, but pretty quick as far as Chambers is concerned. Final seconds of round one and a pretty good round for Theotris Chambers. Protege of former heavyweight champion Michael Dokes, who's in his corner and will go into the corner of Theotris Chambers. Hey, 
Looking good. Real dizzy with that gym. Real dizzy with that gym. Hey, you got a double up. Ray, why would Michael ask for more grease under the eye? Well, because he's just trying to uh, make sure that there are no unnecessary uh, uh, abrasions there. Uh, I mean, these guys, what's happening with Chambers, he's trying to get it closer to Garcia, and the way Garcia has a chance to duck down, it's just a precautionary measure. And probably there's probably a little redness uh, from the jab of Garcia. That was a very stiff jab by Garcia there. It's interesting to watch a former heavyweight champion uh, carry the stool down the steps. I remember you did that a couple of times when you brought a couple of fighters into New York. Well, it was, it was a wonderful experience, and uh, I'd love to do it again. Also, if you look at the left eye of Chambers, yeah. a slight swelling mm -hmm. underneath his eye. And yet he didn't take that many punches in that first round. I didn't think. And Garcia's not really known to be a one-punch knocker out. I mean, just seven knockouts to his credit. But he's a very accurate puncher. Some very sharp punching here. Garcia has been in camp with Clarence Bones Adams. A rapidly rising bantamweight. So he's uh, been in with a fighter with a lot of speed. Garcia's last fight was April 4th when he stopped Lonnie Long in the third round. Louis Rivera is the referee. Nice counter right hand by Garcia. Garcia's been waiting to drop the right hand uh, for some time now. He has been successful with it. Now it appears to me, Ray, that Garcia started to plant himself. Where earlier he was moving around a little bit when Chambers came in on him. Now it looks like he's setting himself. He's, he, at the first round, Garcia wasn't too sure, so he was kind of feeling out and just trying to find out the rhythm of Chambers. And at this point now, he's a lot more uh, confident to settle down and throw some punches, some big punches, but he's yet to throw, throw some heavy shots that land. This one is scheduled for eight. Oh, pretty good left hook by Chambers. Looks like the head's banged a little bit that time. Time winding down in the second round. Rosen, Sugar Ray Leonard, ringside at the Paramount at Madison Square Garden. Glad you're with us for fight night. This is round three scheduled for eight. Theot Theotris Chambers in the white trunks and Jose Garcia in the black trunks. Gil Clancy is recuperating from heart surgery. He is feeling good. He is watching tonight and we hope to have him on the air via the phone a little later on. Oh, good, good right run. hand. Good yeah. right hand. Left hook also landed by uh, Garcia. Looks now like we may see a different uh, Garcia now. And Chambers, the one tying up Garcia's hands. Some heavy punches there, Ray. It's a good shot by Garcia. Got his entire body behind his punches. How'd you score the first two rounds? Chambers. I, I really felt that Chambers was pretty much making the fight. And uh, with Garcia, he was pretty much laying back. Pretty much defense. Defensive fighter, not doing much. Here he's a lot more aggressive. Mm -hmm. 
Good right hand lead that buckled the knees of Theotris Chambers. You will see a different Garcia now because he, have, he, he, he notices also that when he's aggressive, he can land a punch and he can rock Chambers. Now it is Garcia, the man moving in, and Chambers is backing up. The first two rounds, it was Chambers, the man coming in. It's that overhand right thrown by Garcia that's been landing on the chin of Chambers. What Chambers need to do is bring that left hand up because he's been caught, he's been, he's been hit a number of times by the lead off right. Chambers has been good with his jab. The reason that uh, Garcia is able to count with the right hand is because Chambers has a tendency to drop his left hand when he comes back. He should continue to snap that left jab. Quick left hand from underneath by Garcia. It was a good one. And a left hook. There and seems to be a cut on the right eye up in the corner of Chambers by the left hook. Jose Garcia has been coming on in this round. A little swelling under both eyes of Theotris Chambers. Coming toward the end of round three. Now that being aggressive, he could be effective. He threw a, a dynamite right hand on the chin of Chambers. And his left hook's been landing also. This is round four, scheduled for eight. They did not appear to work on any cut. I didn't see any blood in the corner as they uh, went into the corner of Theotra's Chambers. There is some swelling under the right eye and to the side of the right eye. Almost looks like a welt. Yeah, because earlier it appeared to be, a, I, see, I thought I saw a trickle of blood. Another left hook thrown by Garcia. That's been rocking Chambers for the past round. There is Michael Dokes, the new manager of Theotris Chambers. And looking a little worried here. This is the toughest time for a manager to sit, you know, sit at ringside and watch your fighter uh, all of a sudden uh, lose that edge. You know, I've experienced that. And you have a tendency to take your head off. <laughs> <laughs> and it seems to me, Ray, that some of those big punches by Garcia have just... They've taken a little uh, of the edge of that confidence off of Chambers. Well, he's not allowing uh, Chambers to rush in at will now. He, it's a five. Garcia now is, is in control now a lot better. He's starting to counter with the right hand, come back with left hook. Let it go, let it go, Chambers. Let it go. Thank you. There is a certain rhythm to Garcia. You know, if you notice, he's bouncing on his toes, almost like one, two, three. He comes up with his punches. Can you time that? If you're Chambers, do you try and time that? It's difficult for the fighter, but his trainers can see the rhythm here. One, two, and then all of a sudden he comes on the attack. You, catch, you try to catch Garcia while he's up on his toes. Garcia continues to be effective with that right hand, both as a lead and as a counter. What I would think that uh, the point of change would try to instruct him to do is to catch Garcia reaching in. End of round four. Back to fight night, Sam Rosen along with Sugar Ray Leonard. Theotris Chambers in the white trunks, Jose Garcia in the black, and now Chambers has switched to southpaw, as he's done in other fights in his career. Just to change things up a little bit, now he's back to right hand. 
Well, normally, you know, fighters, it's, it's known that normally when a fighter tends to, to change up, that he's rather frustrated, except Marvin Hagler. Marvin Hagler could do that effectively. There's very few fighters that can change up. How have you scored it through four rounds? I have it two rounds to one Chambers and one even. I think Chambers took the first two rounds and uh, Garcia came back strong in the third round. Fourth round, I scored it even. Yeah, it was real close. I, I gave a little bit of an edge to Garcia just for landing those, those right hands, a little bigger punches. Well, you'll notice when Garcia is, is really aggressive that he's very effective. He lands bigger shots, bigger punches. Jose Garcia, oh, good right hand lead that time by Chambers. But he doesn't seem to be a big puncher. It's more so to Chambers' uh, best interest when Garcia's moving back. And for Garcia, when he's going forth, he's far more uh, uh, effective. A little lunging by Garcia that time. Garcia willing to mix it up. And Chambers wants to trade. Garcia's right there to do it. I think what uh, Chambers needs to do is just forget about trying to hit that head, work that body, bring those hands down. Good work by Garcia as he backed up Chambers. And Chambers should get out of here now. He should really get back to the center of the ring and use that jab again. In combination that time by Chambers. And a nice uppercut on the inside by Chambers. Right hand by Garcia, back Chambers up, and he was a little unsteady as he backed up. It caught him on the top of the head and kind of threw him off balance, but I also believe it rocked him too. We're late in round five. <laughs> Out for round six. <laughs> Looked like the heads banged together. And Louis Rivera, the referee, cautioning both fighters. I believe they forgot to put a mouthpiece of Garcia in his mouth. Oh, man. Big mistake by the corner. And both fighters come rushing in at the same time. And now Louis Rivera's got the mouthpiece. And during that clinch, steps in and gives it to Garcia. Garcia's trying to use a height and reach advantage, but he's not really uh, been successful with that. Garcia doesn't really set himself with the punches, Ray, but he, he rushes in and he throws some heavy punches. Well, I think this, this type of movement that Garcia is giving uh, Chambers is starting to confuse him, not allowing Chambers to set. He is a seven-year pro, turned pro in 1985. Good right hand by Chambers. He is ranked in the top ten by the WBC. Good solid shot thrown by Garcia. Chambers con complaining and Louis Rivera cautioning Garcia about holding behind the head and, and hitting. This is round six scheduled for eight. Junior featherweights in the ring. 
Jose Garcia in the black trunks, the Otris Chambers in the white, Sam Rosen along with Sugar Ray Leonard here at ringside at the Paramount. And this is fight night. Nice right hand ended that flurry. Garcia landing. Almost seems to me that Garcia surprises Chambers when he takes the lead and rushes in. Well, he's, 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 he's fast enough to get away with that. So Garcia's doing a pretty good job. Scheduled for eight. There have been no knockdowns. We'll check Sugar Ray's scorecard. What do you think? Um, I think both fighters have exchanged uh, a number of punches. And it's a pretty close fight up to this point here. It was tough to call because a lot of times the Chambers would come on strong and then Garcia would finish a round really big with some heavy punches. I've got Garcia ahead by a little bit. I think he's just thrown the bigger punches and landed the more effective punches well, Garcia, in the last couple of rounds. You know, Sam, Garcia has come on strong. Uh, and uh, He's a lot more confident now, a lot more settled. He punches with far more conviction than Chambers. Louis Rivera has warned Garcia a couple of times now about holding behind the head and hitting at the same time. And I think the next time, if it happens, it will cost Garcia. I just seem to think, Ray, that some of those big punches have taken some of the snap away from Chambers, where earlier he was taking the lead. He's a little unsure now. Well, he's not as uh, uh, relaxed or confident enough to just bore in and just try to run over Garcia because Garcia has gained some respect. Chambers upset, I think, maybe by the head. What do you think, Ray? It's the head. I mean, it's unintentional head, buddy. But uh, also, there's, if you look at the face of Chambers, there's a great deal of frustration with him because he can't land that big punch. Chambers has eight knockouts. He's looking for blood. Kept wiping his face. Meanwhile, Garcia coming on. You gotta go watch the right hand. In other words, it almost looks like his telegram. The way Garcia stands there, I mean, he kind of sets it up with the jab, throws a jab, dips, and right hand. It's that looping right hand that's been landing. Why is that? Mostly because the left hand has been down, Ray? The left hand has been down, and he's been able to get away with it because of the way he executes it. You notice it gets it. A couple head feints, couple head feints. And now there is a cut over the right eye on the eyebrow of Theotris Chambers. Smart thing from Garcia. Garcia's going to the body now. for Jose Garcia land with the big loop of right hand and also there's a great deal of frustration in the face of Chambers I mean, he's been hit by that right hand a number of times and he was complaining between rounds to referee Louis Rivera about the headbutt which apparently opened up the cut over the right eye cut man Sammy Poe worked on it between rounds the corner of Chambers stressed that he needs to win this round big and I would agree Jose Garcia 16 and 1. The Otris Chambers 9 and 1. But Garcia, who's been a pro a little bit longer, actually a lot longer, seven years, seems to be the more experienced fighter here. And I think if there is a difference, if Garcia wins, I think that could be a big factor. The thing with Garcia, I mean, uh, he wants to make fast money. <laughs> I mean, that's his main objective, to make money. And he's starting to show it now. It's not a bad objective when you think about it. I don't think so, <laughs> Sam. No 
with a looping overhand right, got in by Garcia. You see right now, Garcia is very relaxed, very content, very extremely confident. Man, his punches, I mean, he's just, he's just picking the uh, chambers apart now. Seems to me, Ray, that he, he saw the weakness, which you pointed out earlier, that left hand down a little bit, and he, he's been really effective with the right hand. Well, he saw an open. Garcia saw an opening, and he took full advantage of it. The thing I like about Garcia, he keeps those hands very, very high. We're late in the eighth and final round. Good double up left by Garcia. He countered beautifully after Chambers missed the right hand. Pretty good work by Garcia. Worked the body well. Backed up Chambers and had him covering up. Left hook. Another strong left hook by Garcia. Final seconds of the fight. Good, tough bout by two good-looking junior featherweights. That's a good one. Well, that's strong showing, and you can see the look of concern on the face of Theotris Chambers. And you see the look of confidence oh, yeah. and the smile on, in the corner of Jose time. Garcia. I gave him the last six rounds, Ray. I, some of them were close, but I, I, I kind of think he won the fight. I, well, I would agree. I think that Garcia has picked the pace up, picked the tempo up. Started landing punches. He got away with throwing the right hand. And all of a sudden, it was Chambers who was doing a lot of retreating and waiting, which, meant, which I believe would cost him the fight. Problem with the right eye for Theotris Chambers. Well, Chambers got really, really discouraged because Garcia was able to hit him with a couple of shots. I mean, you hear you see that the left hook thrown by Garcia was landing pretty much in the latter part of the, uh, the rounds. And here, the right hand, that wasn't really a king right hand, but the overhand right thrown by Garcia was the key punch. Well, he has the look of a winner. Now he's waiting for the judges to make it official. Garcia has lost only one bout as a pro. He is ranked number eight in the world by the WBC at 122 pounds. And now Ed Darien will announce the scoring. Ladies and gentlemen, the scoring by points as follows. Judges Barbara Perez and Tony Castellano each score 77-75. While Judge George DiGabriel, he watched it at 77-74. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Jose Garcia. Yep. Garcia. Pretty much in line with what you had, Ray. And, uh, Let's hear one more time. Solid Jose. performance. Seemed like it took him a couple of rounds to figure out what Chambers was all about. And then when he did, he took charge of the fight. Well, he saw an opening in Chambers' uh, uh, offense, and he just took advantage of it. Chambers kept dropping that left hand, and Garcia accommodated him with the right hand. Tough visit to New York for Theotris Chambers and his new manager, Michael Dokes, as he listens and he doesn't like to hear the fact that Jose Garcia was announced the winner. There he is. He defeated Theotris Chambers' unanimous decision. We'll be back.